your company is in the market for a new sassy SD-WAN solution and two vendors you've heard of out there are Cato Networks and Fortinet. But how do those two vendors compare? My name is Mike Smith. I'm the president of Aerocom. Let's put our heads together on this. But first, if you'd like my recommendation on the best sassy SD-WAN vendors your company should be quoting, send me an email, give me a call. I will help your company make a lot better decision in a fraction of the time. I'm a broker for all the major sassy SD-WAN vendors out there, and I've been doing this for over 20 years. So I can tell you which ones you should be quoting, which ones you should avoid based on your company's requirements. So send me an email, give me a call. I'd love to help you. It won't cost you anything to reach out and ask for my recommendations. More information on that at the end of the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my future weekly videos that I put out. And go check out our website, aerocominc.com. You can read reviews on providers, you can write reviews on providers, you can watch videos on providers, read all types of information. You can filter providers by features like Sassy. Go check it out. Cato Networks versus Fortinet when it comes to Sassy SD-WAN solutions. Here's what you need to know about the different things when you're comparing those two solutions, in my opinion. Number one is architecture. Cato Networks is what I call a cloud-enabled SD-WAN solution, meaning that they have gateways in the cloud and those gateways are connected by a private fiber optic backbone network. Fortinet, on the other hand, is what I would call an on-prem only solution. It's not connecting to cloud gateways. They don't have a private backbone that your data is gonna hop on once they connect to the gateways. So very different than Cato when it comes to architecture. Well, what does that mean to you? Well, number one, Fortinet's gonna be less expensive because frankly, they're offering less. But because Cato is a cloud enabled solution and they have a private backbone, Cato is going to be better at things like reducing wide area network packet loss and latency. And because Cato has cloud enabled gateways, Cato is going to be good at doing things like incoming or inbound or ingress traffic shaping, load balancing, failover, that type of stuff because they have a gateway in the cloud they're able to not only control that for outbound traffic they can also do that for incoming ingress traffic so that's architecture but the next thing that you should compare them based on is security both solutions are actually considered sassy sd-wan solutions well, what does that mean? Well, that means both offer a managed next generation firewall solution as part of the SD-WAN solution. So next gen firewall means they do content filtering, spam filtering, intrusion detection, intrusion, intrusion prevention, all the next generation firewall functions they do with a managed firewall solution included with the SD, SD-WAN solution. That's essentially what SASE means. Also when it comes to security, both Cato Networks and Fortinet are zero trust, that's ZTNA solutions. And lastly, both Cato Networks and Fortinet are CASB solutions. So what that means is that they can manage, monitor, detect, and block cloud applications on the network. Now, when it comes to CASB, when it comes to ZTNA, when it comes to SASE, obviously there's gonna be slight differences in their offering, and you as a company have to compare those slight differences to your unique requirements. So even though they both, on paper, look the same, they both offer all those security features, they're both a little different when it comes to each one. And, and obviously we could talk for hours and hours and hours on the differences, but the important thing is for you to check out those differences yourself and how they compare to your organization. Okay, so those are the big ones, architecture and security. There's a couple other things I wanna mention on here too. Number one, Cato has a cool thing called digital experience monitoring. If you wanna know more about what that is, go look at my video re on reviewing Cato Networks. Go check that one out. I explain that one in more detail, but really cool extra added feature that Cato offers. As I mentioned earlier, Cato Networks is going to be a little bit more expensive than Fortinet. And something else to note, recently, this is shot in 2025, 
Fortinet has had some issues with hackers finding some vulnerabilities and hacking in with ransomware to some of the bugs in the Fortinet system. So just you know, so you know that in advance, that is something that has happened recently with Fortinet. So definitely something you want to consider, you know, taking a look at that and see if they've gotten those issues resolved. Well, that's my analysis on Cato Networks versus Fortinet solutions. Definitely a little bit different solutions, advantages, disadvantages either way. There's also a lot of other SASE SD-WAN solutions out there. And if you'd like my recommendation on the best SASE SD-WAN solutions for your company, send me an email, give me a call. I'd love to help you with it and it won't cost you anything. So based on your company's requirements, I'll introduce you to the best SD-WAN vendors that your company should be quoting. I'll introduce you to the best people at their company to work with. I'll make sure you get a great demo and presentation on their product. I'll also oversee the quoting process to make sure you get the absolute best pricing available from that vendor. And I'll give you a lot of good background information on which vendors you shouldn't be quoting, which ones you should and why, which ones are the best fit and all that good stuff. I've been a broker for all the major vendors out there for over 20 years in this industry. So I know the industry inside and out. I'm definitely someone you can trust when it comes to trying to find out more information, trying to figure out who your company should quote. And overall, I'm just gonna help your company make a lot better decision in a fraction of the time. And I'm not gonna charge your company anything for my recommendations because the service providers actually pay me my broker fees. So your company doesn't have to pay me anything. So there's no excuse not to at least reach out and get my opinion on this stuff. So give me a call, send me an email, I'd love to help you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my weekly videos that I put out. And go check out our website, aerocominc.com. You can check out SD-WAN vendors, filter them by features like SASE or CASB or ZTNA. You can read reviews on them, you can write reviews on them, you can watch videos on them, all kinds of cool stuff. Go check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.